Hello, back to the channel, where this time I will obviously be talking about uh, the situation with my favorite team, the Pittsburgh Steelers, and how they should rebuild itself. Um, so the Steelers have a massive problem. Big Ben's retired. Um, they have no the quarterbacks this year are probably are not a good quarterback draft. Uh, they got Cameron Hayward, probably this is gonna be his last season. The next season is going to be his last. Uh, Sut to it's not is regressing. Um, we're not going to have all the all the is probably not going to be playing. DJ Watson and Magic Star. They have no offensive line. Um, uh, so really, they have a lot of stuff they need to do. So this year, um, don't get they shouldn't get a quarterback. I think. The next season will be a season where we will see Mike Tomlin actually fail to do anything. He will not get his um, uh, playoff appearance. We will not have a winning record. And he will break his streak of uh, winning record seasons uh, next season. Um, I think next season we're going to get a quarterback in the draft. This season, I know... The Steelers are looking at that one quarterback in the first round, but like, no, please don't get him, Steelers. So there's a center, you get like a center, a left, a left tackle, right tackle, left guard, right guard, anything else but a quarterback. Haskins is gonna and Rudolph are gonna try their best, but I don't know if they could be an actual quarterback. Defensively, still you still got a lot more work. You have to fix. What we have to do is we have to get a new defensive tackles. Um, we need a right tackle, better middle left, uh, middle linebackers. I know Devin Bush is pretty good, but the other, but the other, I don't know, better um cornerbacks. So I would suggest this draft, in the later rounds, like fourth, fifth round, get some cornerbacks, and like in the first couple, get offensive linemen. Like a left tackle, right tackle, and center. And if we get those guys, you're gonna you're gonna be looking a lot better for this season. Um, besides the quarterback, I mean, you have Najee Harris to rely on. Najee Harris is a emerging star. You got Deontay Johnson. You have now you have Juju back. You have Chase Claypool, who's also an emerging star. Um, James Washington is severely underrated. I think he's a really good co wide receiver. It's just that we don't throw to him often. Um, uh, defensively, I think Mike Fitzpatrick, um, TJ Watt will definitely be holding up the team for a while. Um, Terrell um, Edmonds, I think that's his name. I don't. He's a good guy. Don't get me wrong, but like, he could be a bit better in my opinion. I think he's like. We haven't developed him well, and we still he still has like a ton of ways to work on. Um, let's see what else. Um, uh, I th think that's kind of what we're set out. And if we, but I'm also going to say another scenario what we could do. See, we have seventy million dollars in cap space. Now Mike Tomlin he doesn't like to buy quarterbacks through free agency, nor we do we, like, ever splurge big on, like, a veteran player. Because we're going to get him for, like, three seasons, and then he's going to be over. So, or, like, two, one season. So, what were I think we're, like, but in this situation, let's, let's say, hypothetically, we get someone like Aaron Rodgers on this team. If we get Aaron Rodgers, we... Then, when we go into the draft, we don't have to worry about that quarterback for another two years, two, three years. And then after two, three years, guess what happens? In two, three years, we could possibly be one of the best offense, a really good offense, and a Super Bowl contender. But, here's a drawback. Let's say Aaron Rodgers doesn't sign with us. Oh, we can get another guy in free agency. I think, is it Russell I must say, I don't know about this, but I think Russell Wilson's going to free agency. Then we can try for him. If we can't get him, then we're going to go to scenario one. 
there's also a third scenario. We trade for a quarterback. Now, who could we trade for? I don't know, Baker Mayfield, even though he's not good, he's a definite improvement over um, Haskins and Ma Rudolph. Um, let's see who else. Uh, let's see, Deon Watson, we could trade for him. Uh, Trevor Lawrence, uh, we could try it. Tala Talga Uva, however you pronounce his name, we could also try for him. Um, and then Jimmy Garoppolo, uh, he's not very good, but he's better than Big Ben, and he's a bit younger. Actually, he's very younger than Big Ben, and he could definitely be a major improvement over people like Mason Deontay Haskins. Oh, wait, not Deontay Haskins, uh, Has Dwayne Haskins. <laughs> so, yeah, it's kind of my pick on, like, the three scenarios the Steelers are going to fall under. For all three scenarios, there's going to be always a constant. We will pick up offensive linemen in the draft. But only one scenario will we pick a court. We actually... Actually, wait, I haven't gone over the fourth scenario. Sorry. We draft the quarterback in this draft and then build around him. This, in my opinion, at this moment, the first scenario and the fourth scenario are most likely where the Steelers are going to go. It's not going to be second or third it's going to be the first either the first or fourth and in my opinion the first one is going to be the best because going to next drafts we're going to have a better quarterback class we're going to have possibly our rookies are going to develop as good good players um if we pick a quarterback now um uh, yeah he's going to be good but when we actually rebuild the team like, I think the rebuild's going to take at least five years. He's going to be stopped kind of improving and start kind of going on the train in a couple of years to start regressing. Unless we could do something fast, which I know the Steelers are not good at, then most likely TJ Watt will never get a ring. And Najee Harris won't. And all of our good players that I want them to get rings will not. So I think... Either way, we're not going to win a Super Bowl in, I think, seven to five years. So, um, yeah, uh, I just want, this is going to be the video. I hope you have a great day, and see you later.